Stage one of creating my fish tank screensaver is to make myself an, a nice fish tank backdrop um, and potentially animate it too. So let's get rid of the cat. Um, I've just got my stage here and let's on the stage choose a backdrop. I'm going to use the library and the library has an underwater tab at the bottom which I can choose some seascapes from. I'm going to choose the, the cartoon like animation. You can see I've actually got the original blank backdrop here as well. Um, let's get rid of that one. And my second backdrop, I can right mouse click and duplicate it. So I've got two underwater backdrops that are currently both identical. What I'm going to do now though, is just animate. I don't have to do a great deal here, but just to animate it so it's a little bit different. So for example, I could just take the bubbles got here um, and just move them up a little bit maybe on that central one. I do need to be careful I've left a white gap behind so I'm going to use my colour picker to fill in the, the background so that bit's gone. Um, I could also do something maybe with the seaweed just down here. Let's just cut that and maybe just tilt it a little bit and again I'm going to have to go back to my fill tool to fill in those little little bits where I've um, deleted a few things and if I flip between the two backgrounds now you can see it's just a quick example here of what we can do but I've got a little bit of animation. Now I just need a bit of script and what I'd like this to do is repeat this animation forever um, so I need my, to get myself a forever loop that's going to start when the green flag's clicked and on the looks tab it's going to be going to next backdrop what I really need to do though is to have a little pause maybe of a couple of seconds in between changing backgrounds let's see what happens now green flag I've just got a little bit of animation to show um, that the backdrop is moving <laughs> 